because these this is your spark wire this is your your board your board operational plug and uh, these are the only ones we're concerned about here okay what do you do with these well if it's an OEM fan board with the with the uh, the uh, time delay relay on the board you don't need these if you're replacing but we're talking about updating an older furnace okay which this is okay so Right now we have the fan control board on there, but nothing took to it, okay? You take the old board off, it would be just a UIB, Universal Igniter Board, or uh, or uh, <laughs> uh, I, I got one hand in my pocket, I've got a hot game of pocket I'll, I'll pool do it going. for you, how's that? Damn, I did it again. <laughs> so yeah, this board here, the one thing that Sam's going to talk about is there's a little switch, there's a little... Uh, there's a little mode a select little switch. A little jumper here that you have to take out or put in based on what it tells you in the instructions. That little blue guy here, remember we saw that in the yeah, movie? Yeah, that one right there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, you, in this particular thing, it tells you to... But it's only on a dinosaur board. Right. So what you're, what you're going to what you're gonna have there is uh, you're going to leave it, uh, not jumping the two pins, but just on one pin. Uh, at least that's what we're going to do here. If, if you were putting it in a customer's, you could take and throw it away. Because uh, they, if somebody saw it, they might say, well, maybe this is what's wrong with it. So you could just take and throw it away if, if, you're, if it was going into a customer. Th these are school boards, so... You keep the jumper. Yeah. So we're going to leave the jumper on one pin. Okay. Uh, now, you've got these two here, and they are marked. One is marked power. That means you have to have... 12 volts going to that, and then the other one is marked, uh, I'm blower. sorry, this is this one over here, and this one is marked blower. So the, the blower one is easy to see, that's, that's right in here coming off the motor. Okay, your, your, uh, your red wire is going to be your, your, uh, your, power, your power line to your, to your fan motor. Okay, so what you do here is you have to this is this is what you hook to your your uh, time delay relay. So you're you're looking at this one right here coming from your motor. So you're going to take that off of there, and you're going to take the one that's over here, which is blower. Is this one right here, and plug that into there. Now that that's coming from the blower, right? So we, we're taking the one that says blower and putting it to the blower, and then we take this one here. And we put it right on the one we just took that wire off of right there. If I can see it. That's it. You just convert, you retrofitted a, a uh, uh, an older furnace without the fan control, which is the fan, the purpose of the fan control is to shut the fan off. If, if the board tries two, one or three times to start, uh, to uh, trial for ignition to start the, the furnace and it doesn't work, it goes into lockout. If it doesn't have the fan control on it, that'll run forever and run your battery down. Or it'll run until you until it runs your battery down. Now your modern, your modern, it's probably not as important now because your modern converter chargers will put out a lot more amps and it might even just keep up with it. But it's still gonna run and run and run if nobody's around for could be for weeks. A week or a, or a month if you left it for a month and, and you and you left the furnace on. I don't know why you would do that, but people make mistakes. <laughs> 